So they say men don't talk. They say women don't listen. Says who? Oh, men talk. Just not as much as we do. So I'm getting in 10 minutes, getting their stories, getting out. We chat and we dialogue and we talk and we flow and we vibe and it's fun, it's free. This is Discussions. With Rayshawn Nate. <laughs> Hey everybody, you already know, it's your girl Rayshawn Nate, and I am back with discussions. I got another episode coming your way. This one is just, oh, it's gonna be sweet, it's gonna be beautiful, it's gonna touch your heart because I am talking to men about love. And you know the premise of discussions. They say men don't talk, men absolutely do talk. They just don't chat and talk as much as we do. So 10 minutes, we're about to get in and get his story and we are gonna get on out of here, y'all. Just 10 minutes, I got my Apple iPhone. Hey Apple, and 10 minutes, I'm about to start the timer in a second, but tell everybody what your name is. My name is Daniel Trowick. All right, Mr. Daniel Trowick, I'm about to start my timer. Just 10 minutes, let's get in, let's get it. So Daniel, I, you know, I'm, I'm going around, I'm talking to men about love and their idea of love and what love is to them. And and so, my just, just general question, what is love? What does love mean to you? And how do you express love? God is love mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. It starts with God and the love that he showed us when he gave his son for us. Okay. And because of his sacrifice for us, I feel as though as a man I need to do the same kind of sacrifice and show other people that love is a sacrifice. And it's an action word and not just a, a feeling or emotion, but it's action. It's all action. Y'all taking note of this, right? <laughs> so, now, okay, who are these other people that you were showing this action word to? And, and, and tell me about what is the action word? How do you demonstrate or express love on an everyday basis? It's different ways. So, first and foremost, uh, my wife, as opposed to uh, God is first, right, of course. Right. But, but I like that you're saying that, that you put God first. You opened up with that. And I didn't even know you was going to go there, but you just put God first all up in that. Oh, yeah, God is love. first in my life. God is first in my life. Awesome. And then my beautiful wife, Lynette. All right. And Tell us about your beautiful wife, Lynette. Oh, gosh. Oh, he's blushing. I'm not blushing. Yes, you are. No, That's no. nice, though. No, I'm good. I'm, I'm, that's your boo? I'm, I'm, that's my baby. That's your baby? That's, that's your heart? That's my baby. That's my best friend. That's my everything. Oh, she was she, So she was your best friend before you married her? Yes. Yeah. Yes. And you just, what was it about Lynette that you wanted her to be your best friend? You wanted her to be your boo? It was just the way it all worked out. Mm -hmm. It wasn't anything that said, you know what, I really want her to be somebody in my life that just happened to be that way. Mm -hmm. So she was just a friend? She was just a friend. Okay. Well, she started off as uh, a Facebook friend that turned into my daughter's hairdresser, okay. that turned into my friend, that turned into my best friend, that turned into my girlfriend, then my wife. <laughs> See, but you know, I, 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 I so love that. I love how you're breaking this down because, you know, Nate is probably guilty of this. Some of us... And I was just having a conversation with my girlfriend and saying, okay, yeah, cause I went out on a date and I'm, I, I didn't rush in with like, I want to be married. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of times women, we skip past the, the friendship part, mm -hmm. but you said like, she's a Facebook friend and she did your daughter's hair. So you guys were friends mm -hmm. and you just, you, you just, you, you fell in love with her. Yes. What I was, was in it? love with her before I fell in love with her. What were you in love <clears throat> with? Like, what is it about her? Her personality. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know her. She she's yes. a, a beautiful soul. She has a beautiful spirit. Her smile just lights up mm -hmm. everyone's lives, mm -hmm. and that's what it started with. You know, she's just a, a a very beautiful person. Mm -hmm. And you just just knew I had to be with this one. No, not at all. No, not at all. That's not the way it worked. <laughs> he gets me not with that. Oh, the way okay. It worked. Okay. So how did how did it work? How did it work? Oh gosh. Okay. I can't give the, uh, yeah, the full we got version. 10 minutes. We got. We, yeah. I can I can give a little bit of okay. it. Okay, so it actually started uh, in the midst of my divorce mm -hmm. from my first marriage, and it was my 30th birthday, and I had dreams of going to Vegas, and me and my boys had planned this Vegas trip, and Lynette was my best friend, and I was like, hey, Nat, you want to come? She's like, yeah, and then I also had my niece, who had just recently turned 21, that's my baby, mm -hmm. and I invited her to come too, and then last minute... My friends, my boys, they, they left me hanging. They couldn't make it. So I ended up stuck in Vegas with Lynette and my niece. Mm -hmm. And we were just friends at that time. Mm -hmm. And uh, to cut the story kind of short, what happened in Vegas did not stay in Vegas. And uh, we came home and uh, we were awkwardly there. together. Yeah. <laughs> we were awkwardly together. Awkwardly. Tell me three things, three ways you show Lynette that you love her. Oh, gosh. 
That's hard. That's hard. Because I don't, as a man, uh -huh. I'm always taking self-evaluation of myself. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I don't think I do enough every day to really show her, honestly. And I'm, I'm open about it. Hmm. You know, I when I walked into your home and what you guys can't see off camera that there's a family here and there are people at their their kids at the table and they're eating breakfast, a lunch rather, and you are here in the household with them. You know, you're the head of this household. That's love. Yeah. That's love. You're here every day. You don't have to be. Now somebody has to be here. Nine, let me say twelve times out of ten is always the woman. Mm -hmm. But you're here and you're taking care of your family. And yes, that is your responsibility. Yes, absolutely. But some men choose not to do it. Mm -hmm. But you do it and that's love. Yes, it, it's an example I learned from my father. You know, in my lifetime, mm -hmm. he was always there. I was a spoiled, spoiled brat, mm -hmm. and my father was always there. He always took care of home and, and took care of everything that needed to be taken care of. And so for me, it was, I see the example of what a man is supposed to do in a home mm -hmm. and how he's supposed to take care of his family. And so as a man, I had to follow. Had to follow. It, it, was, it was no other way. Now, you have a different dynamic and we got to oh this time goes by so quickly yes you have a different dynamic your wife mm -hmm. she has hiv yes and you chose to marry her yes and and some men wouldn't mm -hmm. why i love her <laughs> i mean that's, it, a demonstration that's, that's, of that's love. the essence of it yes mm -hmm. it, and i knew prior to us getting together because we were friends for so long before and it takes it starts with education mm -hmm. so if you educate yourself on HIV and AIDS and you understand how it's transmitted, how you can stop it from being transmitted or contracting it yourself, the, it, the medical aspect of it, it makes it not really much of a big deal as opposed to back in the day when people viewed it as like the death sentence. But now people are living healthy, happy lives and we are proof of it. Because some people would say that's stupid, mm -hmm. you know, it's oh, dangerous, I wouldn't do it. How do, you, how do you respond to that? Educate yourself. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, I start with that. And I didn't marry a woman living with HIV. I married Lynette, who was ooh, an amazing you woman. Better, ooh, you better say that. You better Say that again. <laughs> Please, because that just, I just felt that. And, and, and that's why I want to talk to you, because that's love. Mm -hmm. That's selfless. That's love. Yes. You just, you, you, you love a person. You, you love her. Mm -hmm. It is not because she got long hair, short hair, with it, the curl, all but That stuff matters. That mm -hmm. helps. But you mm -hmm. just love her. Yes. And what does she have to make your heart feel? <laughs> I'm not blushing. I might be. I don't know. A little bit. Uh, she makes my heart skip. Mm -hmm. And it, it sounds really cliche and corny to say that, especially coming from a man. Like, no, but but we like for y'all to say stuff like that. No, I'm I'm good. She alright. That's how that's how men usually are. But I I just love her. I love her. And now, now, when I spoke to you before, you guys said something about date night. You still do mm -hmm. date night. Yes, we, we, we're getting back into it. Our schedules got a little crazy for a while, but, you know, her, her schedule is about to open up a little better, and we're about to get back into that because we need it. Mm -hmm. We need it. Mm -hmm. Now, when the kids are not, I'm not trying to get all in their business, but when the kids <laughs> are not around and it's just you and Lynette, what do you do, like, do you, what, what do you do to, to demonstrate, like, you know, your affection, your love, or the little text throughout the day, or? Uh, simple Netflix and chill. I, when, when the kids aren't mm -hmm. around most of the time, just relaxing, because... Mm -hmm. You know we we really we are really busy. We, we do a yes, lot. Yes, <laughs> we do a whole lot. So my phone is always live. They going live. They going because they're doing stuff. They do so because you're so busy. And when you have that time, mm -hmm. how do you make the most of that time? Spend it together. Just quality time. Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes we talk. You know, we're focusing on getting back into our Bible studies where we mm -hmm. you know talk about God, learn more about His Word, and, and discuss things. We, we kind of started slacking off on that, and as a man, that's, that's my fault. Mm -hmm. But just getting back into the things that, that got us where we are today. One more question for you. Mm -hmm. What's one thing, like, women need to know? Because I'm single. For now. What's, what's, yeah, what, like, what's the one thing that, you know, what piece of advice you would tell women or give to women? Or, or even to men that's, you know, maybe some men don't like to be demonstrative about showing affection and mm -hmm. stuff. What would, you, what would you say? Two parts. What would you say to the brothers that's like, eh, I can't do that. That's too mushy. And the women, what do women need to know about relationships? It's about? nothing really general I can say about that because I've learned everyone is different. And it's a book that I've read called The Five Love Languages mm -hmm. by Dr. Gary Chapman. Mm -hmm. And it breaks down the different types of, mm -hmm. of love that he talks about and how people understand it and feel it in a certain way. So definitely reading that book helped me in our relationship. Okay. But just... Showing what you know and getting out of your comfort zone and showing people what 
they speak that speaks to them. Okay. And that, that that's a general thing for a man, you know. Man, men don't have to be so tough. Oh, I, I'd give you all my money for saying that. Like, fellas, you don't have to be so tough. It's, it's okay to show love and to show affection. It, it's okay. It's okay to be a little, little vulnerable. Not too much, but a little oh, vulnerable. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You have to be. Okay. It shows that you're real. It shows that you're human. Yes. Y'all, of course, we're about to run out. But I got to ask you, how does... Lynette love you. How does she make you feel? Like, has her, her being in your life, has it made you a, a better man? Better oh, person? definitely. Yeah. Definitely. She made me a much better man. Where I'm at today, I would not be if it wasn't for her. That That is a fact. And I was already busy and doing a lot of things before we got together, but she definitely elevated me to another level. Mm. Definitely. And, 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 and one more thing, because I keep going, because you just, you, I love your <laughs> communication. You just own this all, y'all. I'm past my 10-minute mark. But what is... What's one thing in your life that's changed since you met Lynette and married her and you've had created this beautiful family? What's one thing in your life that you can say has changed? I know this is different in my life since I've been there. Our relationship with God is much stronger. And, Lord. you know, God is the foundation of who we are. Mm -hmm. And in marriage, there would not be a solid marriage if God is not the foundation. And understanding that and putting God first really makes a difference. Why am I getting goosebumps sitting home? <laughs> what, what, what is that about? Any regrets? Anything that you wish you could do over? Every day is a new day. So whatever happened yesterday is going and done with. And I don't live with any regrets. Mm -hmm. I just do what I can do to be better the next day. Mm -hmm. And if, if like Lynette wasn't in the other room like listening to this and you could say something about her, what would you say about Lynette? I love her. That's my, that's my heart. That's my baby. That's my tall bottle of Fiji water. Oh. <laughs> the tall bottle. Oh, that thing like three dollars and some change. He ain't give it to anyone. You, and you ain't give us a little shop right brand. No, you gave no, us a tall, tall bottle, bottle of Fiji name. water. That's my. That's my. That's my mm -hmm. tall bottle of Fiji water. Any anything you want to close on anything? Cause I'm just you know. I can sit and talk to Daniel for <laughs> hours. And any 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 anything? Are you good? You good? Cause I'm I'm good. I'm good. I love is a beautiful thing. Love is definitely mm -hmm. a beautiful thing. And. When you show love and when you receive love, there's just no greater feeling than that. And I, I'm a man, and I'm, I'm a sensitive man. My wife will tell y'all, I cry during Disney movies and my kids laugh at me and yes. bring me tissues, and I don't care. But you know what? You know why I, I, I can sit here and talk to, because so many wish, so many women wish their men would communicate. They wish their men would open up, be just a, a little vulnerable, and you just freely just here, just here. And I'm like, it's nice. Lynette's a blessed woman. You I'm a blessed man. <laughs> Y'all, let me just go on the end here because we're going to have to come on back, right? And, and do some more with Daniel. Let's say goodbye, Daniel. Bye. Thank you for chatting with us on discussions. Okay. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah. 10 minutes move too fast. But they say men don't talk. Men do talk just not as much as we do. 10 minutes. That's it. That's some of us do. Some of us do. Y'all see that, right? They're, they're out there. They're out there. All right. We hope, pray, and fast for some of us for some of them <laughs> <laughs> bye you guys bye bye discussions an r&b media group production